Colombia, 50 years of conflict, 260,000 dead, tens of thousands missing, 7 million displaced persons. El Salado was the scene of one of the bloodiest and cruelest events. It happened on the 18th of February, 2000. There were 7,000 people living in El Salado, located in the department of Bolivar, whose capital is Cartagena de Indias. It was a prosperous town and devoted to farming tobacco and other produce. El Salado was en route connecting the territories held by the two sides of the Colombian conflict, but it was controlled by the FARC guerrillas for a time. The paramilitary group called Autodefensas Unidas de Colombia accused the people of El Salado of collaborating with the FARC. On the 18th of February 2000, a force of 400 paramilitaries surrounded El Salado and assembled the people in the football stadium where 66 were put to death very cruelly. Vengo a decirle a las víctimas perdón. Les pido perdón a nombre del Estado, a nombre de toda la sociedad. Esa masacre o esas masacres nunca han debido suceder. The survivors fled, leaving their homes, their belongings, their future behind them. El Salado became a ghost town, overrun by vegetation. Regresamos con la ilusión de volver a hacer algo, porque sabíamos que se había perdido mucho de lo que se había construido y había dado fortuna, orgullo y vida. In 2001, a group of 200 displaced families decided to return to their homes and farms and try to get their lives back. The Colombian government supported a national effort to restore El Salado and make it a symbol of the new Colombia. Companies financed construction of the access roads, the communications towers and the cultural facilities and built a new neighborhood. Tener en esta zona una inversión garantiza no solamente el desarrollo eh, de, la, de los pobladores, sino que también nos garantiza que el posconflicto sea una realidad en el país. Ferrovial, with Ayuda en Acción and Fundación Semana, handled the water supply. The water infrastructure was refurbished and a clean water supply was provided. It supplies water to 300 homes, over 1,200 people. Two new water tanks with a capacity of 90 cubic meters were built, together with 51 solar panels to power the water pumps, making this a pioneering project in Colombia. Con la, uh etapa del desplazamiento, cuando la población se fue, se dañaron las infraestructuras, entonces era un sistema que no estaba funcionando adecuadamente, funcionaba cada tres días. Digamos que el proyecto del Salado termina en su fase de ejecución física en el año 2017, pero allí realmente empieza el proyecto del Salado, ahí empieza lo que significa el proyecto del Salado, que es que la comunidad apropiando el acueducto, le sirva como una plataforma de ensayo de lo que puede ser eh, su autoorganización con el fin de desarrollar su propia comunidad. Today, El Salado is a symbol of recovery and peace in Colombia. 1,300 people were able to return to their homes and get their lives back. <laughs>